Welcome to episode 899, Many Stool, From Refugee to Toy Billionaire, Nine Lessons. This is an outline of episode 899, lesson 1 to lesson 5. This is lesson 6 to lesson 9. Lesson 1, No Education, No Mentor. is a high school dropout. I was very driven. I did everything myself, which is a very fortunate thing, uh, because I didn't have a mentor. Lesson two is a natural born rebel. A lot of my friends have become doctors and lawyers, and in the small community I was in Perth, um, I wasn't perceived to be successful in inverted commas. Lesson three, learn everything yourself. So there's no aspect of business I don't understand. And I'm talking about distribution, warehousing, finance, selling. I did all my own selling, all my own packing for the first three years. Lesson four, retirement and spiritual discovery. The company that I started in 74, sold it in 91, 92 thereabouts, never to work again, retired. A multi-millionaire in his early 40s, he would do organic farming and later a trip to India in search of the meaning of life. I only got into spirituality when I was about 40. came to me late in life. Prior to that, I believed that you ate, you had a good time, and I certainly had a good time. Um, uh, you procreated, um, you lived your life, and then you're dead, you're buried, you're in the ground, that's the end of it. That changed dramatically for me from the age of 40 onwards. I do believe a lot of Buddhist teachings, um, but on a spiritual level, I'd say I'm sort of a child of the universe. Lesson five, a passive investment turned into active investment. That was the case of Moose Toys in 2001. Uh, Moose was meant to be a passive investment with two other guys that were supposed to run it. It was doing about uh, six million turnover, had about 10 people. Things went wrong with the previous, the so-called partners and the previous owner. Lesson six, change the environment. Move from Perth to Melbourne. I ended up buying them all out, shifted to Melbourne to fix things up. And next thing you know, I'm back in the business world. Nothing more complicated than that. Lesson seven, you have to be 100% committed. Uh, you've got to be determined. You've got to have the fire in the belly. Unless you've got that deep passion, um, you're never going to be a champion. It's not possible. Um, uh, work hard at it and train at it and be totally committed. And I think the total commitment is uh, probably the most important of all. Lesson eight, never lie. It's selling in order to always be tr truthful, in order to always represent the same version of the facts towards a customer. Because he realized once you are caught lying, uh, the customer will never trust you again. Lesson nine, how to pay employees. I started to employ a couple of people. I would have Friday night, Friday night dinners at my father's place. And um, he'd asked me how my day went. He had no idea what I was doing. He was a cabinet maker. So he said, uh, so, uh, so how did your day go? And I said, I can't believe it. The, I've got two people working. They're not doing what I wanted. They're not doing how I wanted. So he, there was two things he said to me that have remained with me forever. One, not everyone was born to be a test pilot, i.e. don't expect more that, from people than they're capable of doing. And the second one, which is an absolute ripper, and a lot of people should learn this one, Whatever you pay a bad person is too much, and whatever you pay a good person is not enough. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.